Dortmund versus Leipzig. Dortmund at plus 155. Leipzig at plus 150. I don't know, even know I mean, someone's made them numbers up because I don't know how you find the uh, the favourite here. And if there was one, I'd go with a home side. But there again, Champions League next week. It's massive because uh, Dortmund have probably been one of the biggest surprises in the Champions League. They are top. Only need a draw at home to PSG. Two. They don't. Go f- what? They, they don't qualified. need a draw? They, 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 they need a draw uh, to, to, win it. to stay first. To win it. Yeah, exactly. okay. Then that, and that's but where you they, that's where you want to be. But they already qualified. Huh? I don't think I don't think their focus right now is this one more than the no, match with PSG. I, yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't even going to bother saying that they're not on this one. I was just pointing the and painting the picture of how brilliant they've done. In, in in the group that they are, and I'm by the way, go. they do want to be winning that group because if they come in second, they are then going to play against big big guns. They come first, they they could all really really realistically progress and be dangerous further into the tournament. Let's talk about this game because the two seventy for the draw. Well, you look at the over three point two five at minus one one eight. Both teams to score twice. Dortmund at minus one one five. Leipzig at minus one one five. Draw a line right down the middle. Both numbers, sets of numbers, Alex, are symmetrical. What way would you go? Because for me, Dortmund at home, Leipzig away. I'm with Dortmund. Uh, in a normal world, yeah, you would be with Dortmund. But we are talking about Bundesliga and we are talking about uh, uh, Hummels, uh, Schlottenberg, and uh, uh, the other defenders of uh, Dortmund that uh, uh, I, I don't think that they will cope with uh, the, the pace of uh, uh, Leipzig uh, small strikers like in Openda and uh, Javi Simons. I think that the, uh, the pace of Openda and Simons will, will be the key to this match. I think that uh, uh, is exactly how uh, Hummels uh, defended uh, against the Bayern Munich when, when they conceded four goals. And you see that the trend right now is that Dortmund is conceded, is conceding many goals in important matches. Maybe not, let's not say important matches, because in, in the Champions League they, they did pretty good, but they, they conceded twice. Uh, they conceded two goals against Stuttgart in the Cup and Stuttgart uh, in Bundesliga. They conceded four against Bayern Munich. They conceded uh, two against uh, Eintracht. They conceded two against Gladbach. So I think that Leipzig has the power to score at least twice here. This is why I don't like this Dortmund money line at plus 115. Even though normally, as you said, Dortmund should at least pick up one point from this one. But I don't like uh, uh, the money line. I don't, I don't like the winner's market here. Uh, I, I think that this uh, game could end uh, easily in a 2-2 draw. Uh, we talked about uh, Dortmund last week, uh, that uh, plus one on Dortmund. And uh, uh, Stinch mentioned at the beginning of the show against Leverkusen was the way to go if you want to if you wanna take the money line, if you want to bet something from the money line. But we didn't touch it. Like, okay, we're talking about it, but we didn't bet on it. Uh, but we are doing sometimes this, uh, these kind of yeah. things. But... I think that a 2-2 draw, plus 270 the draw, I'm going with Leipzig to score twice, even though the, the odds are not so good. Everybody is expecting, also the bookies have, have this uh, Dortmund to score twice, minus 115. Leipzig to score twice, minus 115. I think that you could easily combine these two tips and make one and put some pizza money on it. Yeah, and I, I'm I not saying game... beer money anymore, because after that... You'll start talking. It's too about much. That's bigger than most people's bankroll. <laughs> if you put your 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 beer money is like most people's mortgage. Uh, yeah, I think the game does start at two two, but that's what the numbers are telling you. It's a coin flip on whether Dortmund scored twice. It's a coin flip whether Leipzig scored twice. But if Dortmund are going to get in front in this game, I tell you, there's another one. Both teams to score in both halves or over one and a half goal stinch in the first half. It just screams goals. I think Dortmund are going to have to defend deep, which means this game's going to be stretched, which means it's going to be you shoot, we shoot. I actually think it could be a, a low scoring game. I think it could Ooh. potentially be quite cagey. We, we look at Dortmund. If away Dortmund on... scores first. If Dortmund scores first. 
I just think the goal line at 3.25 maybe doesn't take into account that it's a top four clash, if you like, and it, and it might be cagey. Don't get me wrong, there's no chance I'm backing unders, been there, done that, oh. bought the T-shirt, no chance I'm getting involved in unders on the Bundesliga as a general rule. But I think it, there's a chance it might be cagey. We look at how Dortmund have played in some of the bigger games. They failed to score against Bayern. We've seen them in the, the Champions League. They've done quite well to actually um, qualify with a sort of uh, defence-first approach. And that sort of brings me on to the, the money line. I, I think I don't really agree with it. I think Dortmund should be favourites because they've got at-home advantage. I mean, mm. the, the market's saying that Leipzig are, are definitely one level above Dortmund, and I would say they're on the sort of the same level in terms of ability. Yes, you could say Leipzig may be slightly better, but not like uh, not like sort of half a goal better, which is kind of what the, the market's saying here. If, if this was on neutral ground, Leipzig would be like plus 100, and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't des- necessarily agree with that. But I definitely take on board the fact that um, Dortmund might have one eye on on the Champions League in midweek and could be crucial for their season not to sort of peter out because you know it doesn't look like they're going to um, sustain a, a title challenge given the the pace set by Bayern, Leverkusen, and it has to be say it has to be said Stuttgart as well. Um, so maybe their season will be will be more focused on the, on the Champions League. So I could see them putting all their eggs maybe in that basket. But also worth noting, they are undefeated in 29 of the last 32 Bundesliga fixtures, Dortmund. So not one to be taken lightly if you're back in Leipzig plus 150. Also, think... there, there have been 29 goals between the two teams at this venue in the last six matches. And only one time between them, but it was a, a, a cup game. We've seen, uh, no, uh, sorry, in 2020, we've seen the last uh, under 2.5 goals. But apart from that, the, they are scoring like <laughs> for entertaining games anyway uh, between Dortmund and Leipzig over time. Yeah, I mean, if you do fancy Dortmund, just go with Dortmund, draw no bet at <clears throat> minus 110. But I, I just see that this game is one of those where. You've got an opportunity. Take a leaf out of Bayern's book. You've got someone who basically is uh, like a pretender to the throne or a you contender. You. <laughs> you Exactly. That's what you do. You have to do that. Bayern do it all the time. As soon as someone is either up close to them or, or someone, if they go wallop, 3-0 first 25 minutes. And listen, I, I think that Dortmund should be around minus one, uh, plus 125. They're getting plus 155 against uh, Leipzig side, who do tasty feet on the road. Good game, this. Good game. Both teams score. I think the Alex Classic could probably be like minus 140 or something. But I think both teams are going to uh, contribute to a really entertaining game. Uh, so forget what Stinch says. He's just like <laughs> voodooing my bets. No, I, I hope, I'm hoping it will be. I hope it will be. Just from a betting perspective, I thought maybe, maybe the line was a bit high. Yeah, let's have a little look at the official picks because I've gone with Dortmund team total over one and a half at minus one one five. I think Dortmund scored twice. Alex has gone for Leipzig team total over one point five at minus one one five, and he's not crazy because I've also gone with Leipzig team total over one point five at minus one one five. I've got both these teams scoring twice. I'm not parlaying them; they are two singles. <laughs>